Let's continue our discussion on string methods. This is part 7 of string methods. The first topic is count method. The second topic is find method. And the last topic, the third topic is our find method. We will discuss all these topics in detail. Let's start from the first topic, which is called the count method. Count method finds the number of occurrences of a substring in a given string. First, count method is applied on a string, and then we need to pass the substring to the count method. Now, the job of count method is to find the number of occurrences of that substring within the given string. If the substring is not found, then it returns zero in that case. So, if the substring that we provide to count method is not found within the given string, then it will return zero in that case. The syntax of count method is as follows. First, we need to provide the string. And then to the string, we need to apply the count method. To the count method, we can provide three arguments. The first argument is sub. The second argument is start and the last argument is end. Sub represents the substring, which we need to find the number of occurrences of within the string. Start represents the start index within the string from where the search should begin. And end represents the ending index within the string where the search should end. These two arguments are completely optional, while this argument is mandatory. Now let's see some examples to better understand how count method works. For this, we need to open our command prompt and we need to activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, we need to type this command. I love fruits, comma, fruits make me healthy. Dot count, then within these parentheses, we need to provide this string, fruits. So, to the count method, we have provided this substring fruits and the job of count method is to find the number of occurrences of this substring within this string because count method is applied on this string. If we hit enter, we will get 2 as a result. Now, why is that the case? Within this string, fruits is occurring 2 times. This is the reason why count method is returning to the exact match must be there. Each and every character must match. Now let's move to the next example. This time we need to type this string, I love fruits, then dot, then fruits, where this F is not small but capital one, and then make me healthy. After this, dot count and within this count method, we need to provide the substring fruits. So, we want to search for the same substring and now if we hit enter, we will get 1 as a result. Why is that the case? I have mentioned already that the exact match must be there. This substring is matching with this substring, but this substring is not matching with this substring. Here, the first character is not matching with this character. Hence, count method will return 1. Let's move to the next example. Let's type, I love fruits, comma, fruits make me healthy, dot count, and within parentheses, this time we need to provide three arguments. The first argument is the substring itself. The second argument is the starting index from where the search should begin. The last argument is the ending index where the search should end. So, we need to start from here, which is letter O, because the index of this letter is 3. This letter has index 0. This character, white space character, has index 1. This character has index 2. This character has index 3. So, the search should begin from this character and must end at this character, which is comma. Because the index of this character is 30. You can check this on your own. And this means that count has to find the number of occurrences of this string within this string. If we hit enter, we will get 1 as a result because fruits is occurring only one time within this string, starting from character O and ending at this character, comma. 
I hope this idea is clear and I hope the significance of start and end is also clear. Now let's move to the next example. I love fruits, comma fruits make me healthy. Dot count. Again the same substring, but this time the start index is 1 and the end index is 5. This time if we hit enter, we will get 0 as a result because the substring is not found within this string. Starting from this character white space and ending at this character E. Because the start index is 1, which means we need to start from here, and the end index is 5, which means we need to end at here. The search must end here only. And within this string, fruits is not occurring even one time. And this is the reason why count method is returning 0. Now let's discuss the next topic, which is find method. Find method returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring. So just like count method, we need to provide the substring to the find method. Find method is applied on a string and it will return the index of the first occurrence of the substring we provide to it. If the substring is not found, then it returns minus 1. It will not return 0, it will return minus 1. Minus 1 indicates that the substring is not found. The syntax looks like this. First, we need to provide the string. Then to the string, we can apply the find method. And to the find method, we provide these three arguments. The first argument is sub, which represents the substring. Start represents the start index within the string from where the search should begin. End represents the ending index within the string where the search should end. Now, let's open our command prompt and see some examples of how find method works. So, let's open our command prompt and let's type this command. Python is a beautiful language dot find and to the find method, provide just one character b. If we hit enter, we will get 12 as a result. Why is that the case? Because Find method returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring. Substring in this case is just one character and find method is returning the index of this substring and that to the first occurrence of the substring. This is the first occurrence of the character B and the index of this character is 12. So this is the reason why find is returning 12. Now let's move to the next example. This time, let's type this command. Python is a beautiful language. Dot find. The substring that we need to find is b. The start index is 1 and the end index is 5. This means that the search should begin from y and it must end at n. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, search must end at n. Now, there is no character b within this string. Hence, find method will return minus 1. I hope the concept of find is also clear. Now let's move to the next topic, which is our find method. Our find method returns the index of the last occurrence of the substring. So it returns the index of the last occurrence, not the first occurrence of the substring. So we now know the difference between find and our find. Find method returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring. On the other hand, our find returns the index of the last occurrence of the substring. If the substring is not found, then it returns minus 1, just like find method. And the syntax is also simple. String dot r find. To the r find, we can provide these three arguments. Always remember that whether it is find method, r find method, or count method, these two arguments are always optional. Start and end are always optional. Sub, which represents the substring, is always mandatory. Now let's see some examples of our find method. And this time let's type this command. Python is a beautiful language dot r find. And this time we are interested in finding this substring. So 
we know that our find method returns the index of the last occurrence of the substring. So, our find will return the index of the last occurrence of this substring within this string. So, our find will search from here. The last character itself is matching. Hence, it will return the index of this character. If we hit enter, we will get 29 as a result because the index of this character is 29. Now, let's see one more example. Python is a beautiful language. Dot R find e, comma, 1, comma, 5. Start index is 1 and the end index is 5. This means we need to search within this string. I, T, H, O, N. There is no character E within this string. Hence, R find will return minus 1. I hope the concept of R find is also completely clear. This means we are done with all the topics. We have understood what is count method. We have understood what is find method. And we have also understood what is R find method. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.